welcome back to the breakdown. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge mods in Minecraft 1.18. Now, Forge itself, you should already have installed. This link in the description down below. The tutorial right here will be 1.18 when this video comes out. Uh, the 1.18 Forge tutorial is not out yet because I'm recording these kind of back to back. But anyway, when you come to this website, which is the second link down below, it will have our 1.18 Forge tutorial here, as well as the text tutorial that will walk you through how to download and install Forge. I'm assuming you've already got Forge for this video because this video would be like 16, 17 minutes long if you didn't have Forge. So if you go get Forge, it makes this video a lot easier to digest and you can kind of separate it into two parts. It just makes everything more digestible. First of all, though, we do have from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much, so we have our own server. Played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting for your Minecraft server hosting needs. That's the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex, first link down below. Nevertheless, once you've got Forge set up, again, pause this video, come back. Once you've got Forge, we can move on to downloading mods. Now, all Forge mods for Minecraft 1.18 are installed the exact same way. And for this video, we're going to be installing Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. We're also going to be installing Gravestone Mod. And we're also going to be installing Spark. All of these mods are going to be installed at the end of this video. But if you want to install more than this, other mods, guess what? That is perfectly fine because as long as they're 1.18 Forge mods, they're installed the exact same way as the mods we're installing in this video. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on to downloading these mods. Something else that's great, 95% of Forge mods are also downloaded in the same way. So, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod is linked down below, as are all the three mods we're installing. They're all in the description. Once you click on those, it's going to take you to in-depth tutorials on our website on how to install those specific mods. However, once you're there, you just want to click on the yellow download button, and it will take you off to the Curse Forge download page for these mods. This is the official download page for all of the mods in this video, and like I said, 95% of other Minecraft mods. And then you want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.18 section and then click on the orange download button there. This mod will then download after a few seconds. Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod does what the name said. It's by an awesome YouTuber named Mr. Crayfish and... It's a furniture mod. Adds furniture to Minecraft. Pretty simple stuff. Every single one of these mods you will need to keep in the bottom left, right like so. So you want to keep those in the bottom left of Google Chrome. We then can repeat this process for the Gravestone mod. As you can see, we click download on the Gravestone mod. It then takes us off to, like I said, Curse Forge, where we want to come over to the right-hand side, find the 1.18 section, and then click on the orange download button next to it. The download is going to happen after a few seconds. Same process is repeated for Spark, except I want to mention one thing on the Spark mod. When we come over to the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.18 section, you'll notice that there are two versions. There is Forge and Fabric. You want to download, if you're going through this tutorial, the Forge version of these mods. You do not want the Fabric version of these mods. Otherwise, it won't work. You want Forge. And so, because of that, we want to get this first one, Forge 1.18, and click the orange download button next to it. And while that's downloading, why don't you go ahead and like the video and subscribe if it's helping you out. Nevertheless, once that's downloaded, we want to keep Gravestone and keep Spark in the bottom left. And again, you may need to save these in the server screen on Google Chrome. Now, at this point, we then want to go ahead and minimize our browser and get all these mods to our desktop because it's just easier to manage them and get them into Minecraft once they're on your desktop. So, to do that, we want to go ahead and open up our downloads folder. Click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, and then type in downloads at this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here you'll find all the mods that you download in our case Spark, Gravestone, and the CFM mod, which is actually going to be Crayfish's furniture mod. It's an abbreviation. Nevertheless, drag these to your desktop for ease of use. But I do want to mention that all of these mods are going to be installed in the exact same way, even if they aren't these specific mods, right? If you're downloading different mods, that's perfectly okay. They're going to be installed in the same way as these three. And now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft. And if you have Forge installed, which you should, because in the description down below, second link is how to download and install Forge. We're assuming you've done that when you're playing this video. You should have this Forge installation right here. And one thing I do need to make sure that I do is that uh, we set our resolution so we can see once we get in game. But you don't need to do that. You just need to go ahead and make sure Forge is selected right there and click play. You'll then need to confirm you're playing modded Minecraft. And if you check this little box here, you'll never have to confirm it again. And Minecraft is now going to open up with Forge. Again, second link down below is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Forge for Minecraft 1.18. So go through that tutorial, get everything set up, and then you'll be good to go. Now it's uh, pretty simple. We just let Minecraft open, we drag and drop some mods into a folder, and restart Minecraft. And it's that simple. Uh, the longest part of this is waiting for Minecraft itself to open, but we don't like, unless I mess up, to include jump cuts here. Because... I like to just show you that everything's working, there's no issues, all that stuff. It just kind of goes right on through. It also helps you know how long this stuff can actually take to load sometimes, and uh, it can be quite crazy. 
I'll try on the Minecraft main menu though, we want to go ahead and click on this mods button. So from the Minecraft main menu, you've clicked on mods and it's going to open up this mods screen here, where then we want to click on open mods folder. Then it's going to open up our mods folder and all we need to do to install any Minecraft Forge mods is drag and drop them into this mods folder right like so. Now when we come back to Minecraft, they're not there and they're never going to be there until we click done and quit game. Then we want to open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time we should be good to just go ahead and smash that play button. Forge should be selected and Minecraft's going to open up with the mods. It's that simple. So we got Forge, bam, click play, and now Minecraft 1.18 is going to open up with the Forge mods installed. It's that simple to download and install mods. It really is. At this point, you're just waiting to see that this has actually worked, right? I always show proof in our videos that everything's live, everything's working exactly how it should, and because of that, I can understand if you click off the video. So be sure to like the video and subscribe if it did help you out and enjoy your awesome and incredible Forge mods. But if you do want to stick around to the end, I'd really appreciate it. Nevertheless, we are loading into Minecraft, as you can see here, and things take time. Loading mods takes time, and that's something that I try to get across in these videos is if you expect Minecraft to normally open up in 30 seconds, expect it to be a minute and 30 seconds when you're running mods. And when you're running mods, packs expected to be 30 minutes nevertheless here we are we can go ahead and jump into single player and i do have a world existing with 1.18 mods these mods specifically no trickery there i just uh, test everything before it goes live on video so we can have a smoother experience and it helps me know what issues people could have when they are installing these nevertheless here we are in game if we go ahead and hit e we can see there is mr crayfish's furniture mod now one thing i will say if you're watching this just as it comes out expect some bugs because there are going to be plenty i'm sure Sure enough, this just came out, and yesterday, Forge was absolutely horrible the day that it came out, but today, it seems to be a lot better. Nevertheless, we've got that. We've also got, uh, on the left-hand side here, you can kind of, like, sort these, which is kind of cool. That's also, I've actually never seen that before. And then we should also have in here Spark, so we can go ahead and run a Spark profiler. Spark is a really cool performance Minecraft mod, so we can go in here and, for example, do, like, Spark, um, you know, like, just, let's see, what what is it, a uh, Spark... Sampler, there we go, Spark, Sampler, dash dash, start, and that's going to uh, basically profile Minecraft and see what's lagging, see where, you know, what's using performance, all of that stuff, and then we do have the Gravestone mod as well, and, uh, well, as morbid as it is, the best way to test the Gravestone mod is to fly up in the air, and, uh, by the way, there's a seed of this world, these new seeds are insane to me, but we can go into a game mode, survival, and... Boom, there's a gravestone, as you can see. So yeah, that's kind of how you can do that. You also get your obituary with your death coordinates, which is pretty cool. And we go into creative here. We can fly right over here and see right there it is. There is our gravestone. Awesome stuff. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy your Minecraft 1.18 mods. And come play with us on playdarbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft survival and skyblocks ever in the multiverse. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.